Our groceries are here. These are our groceries for the week from Amazon Fresh. There's not much going on in the garden at the moment. We're still sort of in between the season when we're still removing some leftover summer crops and uh, planting some winter vegetables. So since it's grocery day, I thought of showing what's in our what's on our pantry. Um, so here we have some like pasta, different kinds of pasta like spaghetti, linguine, acavatapi, elbows, orzo, and this is uh, farfalle. And then we have some sauce, truffle sauce, tomato sauce, pesto sauce, and then olives, that's uh, caper berries, and then garbanzo. So this is sort of for like European cooking. And then we have tomato sauce, and then we have uh, for the um, fondue, cheese for the fondue, and then we have the clam juice for when, uh, when I'm making um, seafood soup or Italian like seafood um, pasta. And then we have red wine, white wine. Uh, this is artichoke, bruschetta, and then cheese, and then um, bread crumbs. And uh, these are flour for making pasta, semolina flour. And then there we have um, mustard and uh, olive oil, and then um, red cabbage. So those are like for German uh, cuisine. So red cabbage, and then um pretzel sauerkraut and then these are like sardines from portugal and then sardines from spain calamari from spain and then some um tomato sauce and then over there we have lentils and then arborio for making risotto i'm going to make risotto this week and then down here on this shelf is more of like for asian cooking asian cuisine so more of like filipino cooking and then this is tapioca we have a lot of um coconut milk we like to cook with coconut milk and then this is like a uh, liquid seasoning and then tomato sauce this is korean um this is from the korean market I don't know what this one is <laughs> and then more coconut milk over there and then luncheon meat sardines um this is for making like a filipino stew uh, peas dry peas and um this is laksa for uh, i think malaysian this is malaysian and then peanut sauce for satay peanut sauce for thai barbecue and then we have uh, those egg quail eggs and corn there is a filipino dish where like we use a shrimp and then this like quail eggs and then corn young corn and then we have this for chinese uh cooking chinese dish the uh black beans this is for like when um uh, i make a beef with bitter melon and then i put this like uh black beans a salted black beans and then this is like century tuna also from the philippines and then we have um here this is like we cook this jackfruit green jackfruit we cook that same thing with that one we cook that with uh, coconut milk and shrimp and then we have rice vinegar here for uh, sushi rice or for also for uh, pickling and then this is for congee my husband likes this my husband is uh, filipino chinese so he used this in congee and then we have curry curry sauce this is japanese curry and then this is from korean market sesame bread mix and then this is for like a pancake korean pancake and then we have a lot of mung beans here we like to eat mung beans with shrimp and bitter melon like sprouts or like um, chili leaves and this this is for making shopao it's also a filipino like filipino chinese snacks i think and this is for making like filipino dessert so a uh, rice flour and then i have here oh this is for um, cooking soup we use a silken chicken 
it's the um the chicken with white like feathers and but then the meat is black it's for it's very nutritious it's for it's also like a chinese chinese dish so we put all this and then plus that and then the uh, green uh, vegetable like leafy greens and then this is for making um noodles chinese noodles if you want to like and i make chinese noodles from scratch too and then this is purple yam or ube which is a very popular dessert ingredient in the philippines so this is for halo halo or like for making a filipino dessert that is like an ube flavored and then we have langka here that's jackfruit also for halo halo or for any other like you know dessert and more like ube over there because they're running out of ube and we got a lot of ube now <laughs> And this is like um, coconut gel and this is uh, sugar palm fruit all these are all for halo halo and then panko and then this is like for indian like cooking simmering indian simmering sauce tikka masala and this is couscous and what else those are like for making a biryani <laughs> we like indian food too so different flavors of biryani and then this is the uh, nori, nori sheet. So where else? Oh, like up here we have um, for making dessert, like more of like um, and sweet stuff, sweet treats. And this is uh, all purple flour, but more of like for making sauce to thicken the sauce. And then that's like for making brownies. This is cone. I still haven't like used it. And those like sugar. And this one is for, this is for making um, jams and jellies. And like uh, milk and honey. And for making churros, beignet, pancake mix, cinnamon bun flavored for making crepe. And then uh, the Nutella for the crepe. And then this is for making Abel's Giver. And then oatmeal. I eat oatmeal for breakfast most of the time. And then um, we're done with this and done with this. On this like shelf, we have some snacks and some noodles. So this is like for making consist. And this is for making like pilaf, like Middle Eastern pilaf. I'm not sure if like which country this originated from usually it's in like i think lebanese or armenian restaurants where i usually have it and then we have here the for fa making fa and then some noodles some like noodles from filipino market here like this is pancit canton pancit canton and then some uh bread like like crackers for when we have like when we make snacks or like herbs and then cashew and a goldfish quadratini and then this is like uh, like roll like wafer roll and then hot chocolate for making hot chocolate this one is for making hot chocolate which is perfect this season since it's getting colder. And then on this side, we have more of like beans or like, it's also it's supposed to be up there. This is popcorn. And then this actually for making dessert too, like Filipino dessert, um, agar agar. And this is for more of like uh, Mexican cooking. Uh, we have chipotle and then enchilada sauce and then uh, we have a lot of beans here this is guacamole and uh, that's also for enchilada over there and then we have like beans and green chilies like different kinds of beans it's like black beans pinto beans refried black beans and kidney kidney this is for uh, making chili joshua's favorite and then this is supposed to be for the snacks like peanuts and then we have balsamic vinegar olive oil like seafood uh stock so this is tostitos for and um, salsa for here for the tostitos and then jalap 
venue slices um, and some other like random stuff here sauce i'm not going to pronounce it i might like pronounce it incorrectly <laughs> difficult to say um baking powder and then this for this is almond flour for uh, making macarons french macarons and then this is for indian cooking the vinegar like soy sauce and then we have this is uh cornmeal and then this is like a glutinous rice uh, all-purpose flour and then like sugar like brown sugar like more flour there and then yeast so what else and on the bottom shelf we have like bottled water and then snacks here this this one this, this like this this and this are from the filipino um, from the filipino market and then like soda that's for my husband <laughs> i don't drink soda that much uh rice krispies for Joshua's breakfast and then a pea up there is more of like some random stuff so we have like whole wheat flour all purpose flour and then a bread flour those are like um extra <laughs> whole wheat flour for making a sourdough bread I'm going to show you one time how I make it and then all purpose flour and then that's bread flour and up there are like more like just like random like kitchen stuff and so that's it